So smart money. Who's the smart money? Smart money is the insiders and better informed speculators typically that invest more. And smart money can sometimes be spotted by greater than usual volume, especially when little or no public data exists to justify it. And you've seen this happen on charts, and I'm going to show it to you, okay? Knowing who the smart money is and when and where they're investing can be of great benefit to retail uh, investors who want to ride the smart money's coattails, okay? Smart money. We, we often talk about the HFTs or the high-frequency traders, the market makers, the institutional funds, things like that. Those are the guys that have an, a lot of money and they have the ability to trade in a way that we don't. And we'll talk about that in a minute also, okay? So that's when I'm talking about smart money. That's what, what I'm talking about. And so how do they do what they do? They, We all know that the markets are being manipulated, right? And if they're purposely manipulating the markets, don't you have to ask yourself, well, why do they? Why are they doing that, right? Could it be because every time they do it, we all act exactly the same way every single time? And that makes us predictable, right? As predictable as the sun coming up tomorrow, right? So shouldn't we be very interested in what is actually happening? So we can also have an edge against the other retail traders. But where do we trade? I mean, when when would that information come in handy for us? So if we try to trade against the smart money, you know, that's like stand, trying to stand in front of a locomotive. Or if we try to trade uh, with them, well, that's like trying to juggle knives you know, or catch a falling knife. So what does that leave? We, we got to trade after them. So we need to watch what's going on. We need to wait for them to do what they're, what they're going to do. And we need to know, we need to see the signs that they're about to do it. Okay. So trading after they do their manipulations and react opposite from the rest of the retail traders out there, that's our edge. Okay? How do how do the, all of the other retail traders act? The ones that we need to be trading opposite them? The ones that are reacting to the to the uh, manipulations are typically caught off guard. Every single time it happens, because unfortunately we're human and they have machines and algorithms and big uh, bank accounts that they have at their disposal that we don't have. We just have us. So if you're in a trade and, and then you see a manipulation happen, typically we're going to panic as we watch price heading quickly towards our stop, right? Or if we're not in a trade, we panic, you know, we get FOMO and we don't want to miss out on the big move. So then we try to jump into the big move, right? We're predictable. You may say, well, I don't do that, but you either have, you will, or everybody around you does because most retail traders will act predictably. Okay, and that's where these guys have an edge against us. So the the problem is, is you're in this trade and you're like, oh no, uh, you start freaking out. What do I do? Should I get out? Should I jump in? Should I double up? Uh, you know, I could have had a big profit, but I'm losing money now. Do I wait? Do I cut my losses? What do I do? This causes an awful lot of stress. So. When I created this pullback system, I was struggling and stress was a killer for me. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that I could trade without having all this stress? 
So I'll show you how I went about doing that and what we came up with. 